Welcome to this video on Oracle Apex and today we are going to discuss how you can modify pages and reports. For example, if you want to add a column in the table and now you want to add that column on your pages, reports, I mean, uh, since the application is already developed, so how you can do that one. So in this session, we are going to cover this. Uh, how easy it is or what kind of steps you have to take in order to add or remove columns uh, from your pages, regions or whatever you can call them and reports, right? So let's move. So I am on my instance in or, uh, apex.oracle.com. So first we will create a small quick application uh, going to SQL Workshop, Utilities and Sample Dataset. So we are going to install AMP and DEP table, just standard tables, right? So if it is already there, it is saying you want to remove, you know, it is, uh, so let me remove data set. Okay, so now it is not there. Let me install from scratch, right? And install data set. So we'll create application as well. It will create two tables and one view. Okay, and here uh, it is giving us option to create application. Right, demonstration, amp depth, nothing else. I'm going to change anything on this page and create application, whatever it is. Let's see. It might take few seconds. Right, so application is ready. Let us try it. Okay, so here it is. This is dashboard, whatever it is, default. And here is employee. Right, facet search is there on the left side. This is a region, right? And then when you will create, there is a page, right? Okay, so this is our application. So let's say, for example, we are running this application. So if you see here, we have certain columns in our AMP table, right? AMP name, job, manager, hired, salary, commission, department number. So for example, if there's a requirement to add a column, or remove any column, whatever it can be. So now we will add column in this table, AMP table, and then we will see how we can bring uh, that column in this region as well as in this page. So user will be able to um, submit data as well, that for the data entry. Okay, so first we will go here just to change the table EMP. Let me check the exact table name so it shouldn't. So I'm on page and this is employee, right? AMP, just AMP, okay? So it is this, this one. These are the columns and this is the data, right? At the moment. So let us add, for example, uh, I don't have here the column location, for example. So I'm just adding location here. Location. It will be watcher. For example, I'm just adding 100. Okay. Nullable, yes. Because if it will not be nullable, then it will not allow because uh, already table having data okay so location is there now uh, anything else we can add uh, manager hire date date of birth is not there you can add date of birth you can remove any so let us try this the location one so if i will see my application the current application it is not there location is not there right now we have to bring the location over here for that what you can do uh, 
let's say for example if first we have to bring on this page so edit page and this is my region right amp if you see here coming down here location is not there so no need to do manually adding over here like this what i will do just right click and i will press synchronize columns okay i have clicked and if you see here now location is there now it is up to me if i want to move its location up or down but it's okay i am fine with it so save right let's see see location is there okay now if i edit this still this page which is my entry page not having location so i will just do again this and here on this region which is my amp table region i will just right click and synchronize okay my location automatically added with the data type and all the information is there see save okay right now if i will come here and i will say location i s l a m a b a d islamabad see means data entry screen also updating it and it is added over here okay now the question is do we need location here as well in this uh, facet search as well so let us do this i will come here and this is my search right facet search is this and here at the moment location is not there right this is my check group this is check group this is range so let us add create facet and i just need to update here location right and list of value if there is any or i will say distinct value so it will only show distinct values in this column so if by updating here location let me see down it has updated the database column as well and the type right here i haven't entered right i just entered in this name save let us see now location islamabad right so let us add one more location let's say um, lahore one more du dubai so what i will do i will enter islamabad once again just to show you the distinct which we selected while adding that right so islamabad okay let me refresh this page so islamabad will be showing once but it is showing the count two so there are two islamabad right this is one this is one dubai so if i'll select click this uh, dubai it will show me only dubai so that means our uh, customization you can call it or modification it is working fine okay same way you can remove you can change the column names or whatever uh, just let me show you one more thing if it is available uh, there is bit difference on uh, interactive reports so this is my interactive report so let me add something here in this uh, department table right because this is on department table so i will try this on the department okay this is my data right i have these columns so i will add a, a department number department name location location was here so we just added over there uh, here i would say um, what should be the column i should add over here um, let's say company 
I'm just adding for testing, right? Company and length again, let's say 50. Nothing else apply. So I have the now company column over here. So I will be moving to this department. So if you see here, there is no company and there is no company here, right? So first edit page. Now I will right click and synchronize. Right? Company is there. Save. Okay. See? An employee, because that was a different type of listing or report, this one, classic report, this was classic report. So there is a difference, small, I mean minor difference. This is classic report. In classic report, automatically it will show. Now if you don't want to show any column, you will just come here and you will uh, select hidden, right, if you don't want to show on the classic report. So you have to manually do over here. But on department screen, we have this interactive report here. Since column already added, but it is not showing in the report. Now, what you have to do, come here, select this column and add. Right? It is added. now. Report, save report, and as a default settings. Now it will show. Otherwise, when you will refresh or come again, it, this company will not be there. So I have saved it. Now this report is saved. Okay. Saved reports, primary. This report is saved. Now let us move to our, for example, I'm just adding company. Okay. Here company is not there still. So I have to. Edit this page, page six, and department. If you see here, okay. One more thing uh, since it is based on table or view, you can say, but if it is on SQL, then you will have to add manually in your SQL query as well. So then refresh will not work, you will have to add over here. So let me synchronize. See, company is there now. This will be same as we did for the employee, except that's that interactive report. Okay, let's refresh, and now let us create enter company name, ERP stuff. Okay, added right. That's it. So here, if you have to you, uh, remove or add columns, you will be able to select from here. But this is not there in the classic report. Okay. Here, let, now let's say, for example, if we want to hide it, hidden. Okay. This is my page six, right? Same, the data entry. So let us see. Now it will be show us. Okay. It is not showing. Now let me make it text. Now this is, I don't know why this, I call it bug or what, since I just changed it, the type, why it is showing label new, it should show the same label, but this is maybe Oracle Apex team has to do uh, in the next coming release, I, I think it is since many versions it is behaving same, if you will change and you will again reset it, it will bring the label new, uh, it should take from here, it is there, the company. Okay, anyway, so label done. Okay, company is there, and now let me show it over here. Okay, company is there. I think we covered pages, facet search, and this one as well. Dashboards, if you have to change in over here, then you have to change the queries. So, if you want to add or remove anything, the charts. So, see here we have this uh, view for the department, right? So, you will have to use 
these views or whatever you want to change, then you can change from here, right? Okay, so just give a try and uh, please share your feedback. I think it's very earlier it was not there this synchronization was there i don't remember it was version 20 or i don't remember which exact version was there then this um, synchronize option was introduced by oracle apex team which is really quite easy and straightforward and you always need it you want to change anything on your table and uh, our view and you have to reflect over uh, reflect in your application then you can use this option right right click synchronize right so always try to maybe you can hide over here um, if you will delete from here it will be removed but again when you will refresh i mean uh, uh, resynchronize due to any reason all those columns will come just uh, uh, keep in mind so for example if i will synchronize all the columns in this table our view will pop up over here right so let's say for example if i'm just deleting it it is not there at the moment but in table it is there right okay right click so if i just let me show you here as well see column location reference by facet because in facet i haven't re removed right so let me add it back okay location is there let's see now this error right gone location is there okay so have a nice time and try fix your problem share your feedback thank you very much and allah hafiz